Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, thank you, subbies, for the love and support. So DJ Booth, who was once Wendy Williams DJ, up until he was replaced by DJ Sus One, has become a disgruntled employee. He had been in a blog lately because um, he responded to a fan on IG and basically stated that um, the staff at Wendy Williams show is afraid to speak up and he feels sorry for the workers and the victims. Booth so far has not flat out said why he's no longer on the show, but that's where we come in at to see why. <laughs> this reading is for entertainment purposes only. Um... Show me why DJ Boop was let go, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all yeah, not feeling good today. But I'm going to try to try to do this reading. Um, show me, Spirit. Why was DJ Boop let go from the Wendy Williams show? Why was DJ Boop let go from the Wendy Williams show, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Why was he let go? Ew. Okay. The cards that came up are the Page of Cups. I hope y'all can see it because from my point of view, everything looks so dark. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse. And the um, Five of Wands. Um, page of Cups. This represents, it could be an invitation, um, a discussion about feelings, friendliness, new feelings, and emotions. So Wendy started catching the fee-fees, basically. And um, she made a romantic proposal, allegedly. Queen of Swords in reverse. This represents a real bitch. Who is, we all know, Wendy Williams. So, um, she's manipulative, deceitful, biased, malicious, lonely, miserable, a domineering, vindictive woman. So, when Booth rejected her, he was like, nah, I can't, I can't blow your back out like that, Wendy. Plus, your boobs too big for me. <laughs> uh, Wendy became angry, vindictive, spiteful, and did some underhanded stuff and got rid of DJ Booth. Five of Wands. This represents a challenge. It could be obstacles, arguments, squabbles, and conflict of interests. Strife due to to refusal of the other person's point of view. So Wendy didn't appreciate Booth's refusal and we all see what happened. He's not on the show anymore. Mm. You know, there was talks about um, that he's, TK had did a video saying that um, basically Wendy would call Booth at different times of the hour and you know, was, I guess, offering herself sexually to him. Um, I don't know, but um, let's let's see if they they were sexually involved. Thank you, Spirit. For DJ Booth and Wendy Williams sexually involved, Spirit. For DJ Booth and Wendy Williams sexually involved. Don't y'all forget to vote. I voted yesterday. Were they sexually involved? Thank you, Spirit, for DJ Booth and Wendy Williams sexually involved. Why are they sexually involved, Spirit? Thank you. Ooh. Uh, oh, um, ooh. <laughs> we got the lovers. Okay, I see what's going on here. Okay. Hmm. So the cards that came up is the lovers. 
the Queen of Cups in reverse, an emotional woman, and the Chariot, somebody who's determined to not do something or to do something. Um, we all know that the lovers, we, we all know what this card represents. Um, it could be a romantic meeting, an ordeal, and torn in between the two. <laughs> torn, torn between the decision. So, um, you are faced with um, a crucial life choice. Um, it must choose. I don't see Booth blowing Wendy Williams back out, but some type of inappropriate relationship occurred. I say inappropriate because Wendy, uh, she was the boss and she overstepped her boundaries. Then she became the Queen of Cups in reverse, which represents a fickle woman. She's self-indulged, she's moody, she's flirtatious, and she has a cloud of jump judgment. A fatal attraction. So when Boo denied Wendy, she became deceitful and um, hired DJ Sus One to make Boo jealous. I don't know if him and um, and um, Boo, DJ Sus One and Boo were friends, um, but I do know Boo had mentioned that he he had recommended Sus One uh, to f uh, fill in for him one time. And then, you know, one time on the show, Wendy, she was like, uh, we had DJ Sus one. And I asked Boop, she's like, were you jealous, you know? So, yeah. Um, and this is also, um, speaking about her current mental status and how she's self-indulgent to, to numb the pain she's in. I really think Wendy, um, Mrs. Kelvin, but you know what, y'all? I'm such a friend fan of Tracy Brown and um, I took her tarot class. That's how I got started with tarot. And she caught this last year y'all when um, they were going through the big divorce. It was a year or maybe two years ago. I, I, I can't remember. Tracy Brown called this. She called it and said that Wendy Williams was going to relapse. Yes, she did. So we just um, need to see Wendy love and light, y'all. The next card is the Chariot, which represents determination, willpower, um, control, self-control, control over conflicting forces, and balancing conflicting emotions. Struggling to assert yourself because you uh, need to resolve a set of conflicting interests. That, that's what that means to me. So, I, I think Booth, you... He used self-control to not involve himself sexually with Wendy, y'all. <laughs> and she didn't like that. And that's not fair. Because, Booth, you have women who are victims like that. Like, with high-power mans. And if they don't do what that man wants them to do, then there goes their job. It should be the same for a man. And... I hope Booth seeks some form of compensation for what he went through because that was sexual harassment. He's the victim of sexual harassment. Forcing yourself on me, and when I say no, you do away with my job. But Booth is also, like I said, he's becoming a disgruntled employee, you know, by he's out to get her. He's out to take her down. He's out to take Wendy down, y'all. Watch and see. I bet you something else come up about Wendy. Booth gonna be, if somebody say something, Booth gonna be in them comments responding. Yep. But um, let me know you guys' opinions, thoughts, and opinions. Comment down below, guys. Thank you all for watching. Be blessed.